always have an onion, some ginger, a chili, and some potato, and a bit of garlic, and you can feed anyone. What is it about Tipping Point? So addictive. I used to make vats of chicken curry, and I made loads of friends that way, and I don't remember them tasting very nice. I'm happy. Ask me whatever you want. <laughs> Okay, right, what are the options? Green tea, Earl Grey, and a builder's. Well, I normally don't have caffeine because I've got so much energy after midday, but there's a platter of biscuits here, so it's gonna have to be a builder's brew. A little bit disappointed it's not loose leaf. I've done away with tea bags in my house. Most of them are made out of plastic. Um, what's this? Oh, that's PG, right? Triangular, PG tips, okay. I don't know whether these have got plastic in, so. Right, pick a mug for my builder's brew. So I'm pretty fussy about what I make my tea in, and it has to be China. That's made in China, because tea tastes better when it's fine bone China. So, no sugar, hot water, and it goes. And definitely a splash of full fat cow's milk. Oh, lovely. I love the ritual of making tea. I have one cup first thing in the morning before I do anything else. I won't even look at my phone. That's a new thing, but the digital detox. I go into my kitchen, put the kettle on, make a lovely cup of loose leaf tea in a china mug. And I just take my time and look out of my window and watch the seasons. And I think we all should do that, you know? Even just five minutes every morning. Let me taste that. <laughs> That's lovely. Okay, biscuits, come on. It's gotta be a jammy dodger. And I would dunk, but I think, yeah, it's got the cream in it, so I'm just gonna take a bite. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm happy. Ask me whatever you want. So Jumanji 2 is out at the moment, and every time I see the billboards, I think that four would make a great dinner party. Jack Black, Dwayne Johnson, Karen Gillan, and Kevin Hart. They would be awesome. And I'd also invite the Obamas, and Oprah, and Ava DuVernay, and who else would I invite? Oh, um, Michael Fassbender. <laughs> Um, well, it'd have to be Nadia Hussain, wouldn't it? I mean, she's blooming amazing. And plus, I'd get to hang out with her. Can I add her to my dinner party guest list as well, please? Ooh, um, if I had to get someone to redesign my home, I'd ask Tim Burton, because it would be amazing, wouldn't it? Like, entering your home, every room would be different. Uh, it'd be quite an experience. It might get quite intense. But yeah, I'd get Tim Burton to redesign my home. I, if I was throwing a huge dinner party and I needed help from somebody, I'd probably invite George Clooney. I think Clooney would keep the guests entertained. I think he could just sit in the corner and smile. I don't even think he'd sit in the corner though. He'd work the room, he'd be gracious. He'd be like, hi, I'm George. Yes, yeah, I mean, would you like a drink? I'll get you a drink. And I could work the room as well. I think me and George, boom. It's like dinner party dynamite. Um, if I had to choose a dog sitter, it would be Paul O'Grady. He loves dogs, doesn't he? He'd be happy to look after my dog. I would love a dog. I really wish I could have a dog. I'd get Meghan Markle to come and style me. Definitely. I think she is one stylish, hot lady. I think she's effortlessly chic. And yeah, I think we could just get to hang out and chat. And that'd be great as well. So yeah, the beaut that is Meghan Markle can come and style me for the day. So if my awesome makeup artist is sick for the day, it'd have to be Pat McGrath, wouldn't it? I mean, come on. And we could have some fun, and I could get those lips and those eyes, and that 
whatever that is. Okay, if I've had a bad day, who would I invite round for a cup of tea and a natter? Uh, um, oh, do you know what? I would invite Alex Jones and Angelica Bell, definitely. And that would be a double whammy because uh, they could bring their kids or get to play with them and Angelica might even cook something. Oh, partying. Who am I going to take out partying with me? Um, if I'm going out partying, I reckon I'd take the Whitmore. I reckon me and Whitmore would have a right laugh. Yeah. Laura, you're up. You've pulled. <laughs> what keeps me awake at night? I'm really good at sleeping. Um, which my husband hates because he, he's really bad. So I just kind of lie down and pass out and sleep solidly for eight hours. But sometimes if I'm a bit anxious or actually quite excited about work, I still get quite giddy if I'm going on holiday the next day. So excitement keeps me awake. My biggest extravagance, candles expensive candles don't tell my mum i mean it's a, i just love them i'm trying to move on to oils now um but yeah candles and flowers i think it's a really nice treat to buy myself flowers a really beautiful bunch of flowers it makes me very happy oh biggest interior design well i love a bit of interior design um what mistakes have I made? I've never been asked that question before. Oh, okay, the biggest interior design I've, um, mistake I've made was before I had my own property, I was renting and sharing with my mate Laura and um, my mum and dad brought part of their old 80s blue velvet corner suite down for me. And it was the bit of the sofa, proper 80s, that had a bar in it. So you'd open the back and inside was a bar where my mum and dad would keep their baby sham. <laughs> and uh, uh, cherries and whatnot, and cocktail sticks, and after eight. And Laura absolutely hated it. I don't know why. So that was a big mistake. Laura, you were right. It was disgusting. Well, I love cooking, and being in the kitchen is really therapeutic. I love having the radio on, listening to music, just cooking up a storm. Culinary fail. Probably when I was a student, I probably made quite a few errors. I used to make vats of chicken curry and I made loads of friends that way and I don't remember them tasting very nice. Oh my goodness me. Best household advice. Oh, my mum's advice. Always have an onion, some ginger, a chilli and some potato and a bit of garlic and you can feed anyone. Thanks mum. She's right as well. I can feed anyone with those four things. <laughs> oh God. Um, so household jobs, like, you know, you just do it because you have to, right? But dom domestic chores just get in the way of stuff that you actually want to do. Um, oh, what's boring? Folding clothes is uh, constant. Um, Dishwasher, husband's job, nothing to do with me. Loading and unloading, he can have both. Oh, uh, well, my house is a shoes off house. Uh, that's because I like people to feel comfortable. And I think as soon as you take your shoes off, kick your shoes off and kind of pitter patter around in your socks, um, it just makes everyone feel a bit more relaxed. And I've got lovely underfloor heating in my kitchen. This feels really nice. And camera crews now know this about my house. And the last camera crew that came round brought their slippers with them. <laughs> oh, I think bed sheets need to be changed quite frequently. Um, and there's nothing nicer than crisp, clean, white sheets. Um, so once, twice a week, is that all right? Not every day. Who's got time to be changing sheets every day? <laughs> <laughs>